I'm in Imba. Drove down this morning, got on the bus, and now I'm in the churchyard of St Giles. St Giles. In the background. It's not used anymore, only on certain days, certain occasions. Imber village was a very old village. It was mentioned in the Doomsday Book. But the uh, British army, the military decided to move everyone out so they can, they can use it as, a, as part of the Salisbury Plain Rangers. So we'll be, I'll be showing you a bit of that later. There's a new headstone over there from a guy who's buried last year. And it's the first one that's been buried here for, I think they said 20 years. Um, you have to be, you have to be, uh, um, have some sort of connection to the village and there aren't, there won't be that many people left. So yeah, there you are. St Giles in Imba. It's a lovely little church. They're doing reenactments re down the bottom down there, you can see. And I don't know why reenactments or reenactors have to be American. Yeah. Just like the Americans won the war on their own. You know, you can ask me on that later. I'll speak to you soon. It's funny being in a churchyard. I do like a churchyard. But just across the way here is a military village. Military village. Uh, and if you can see those with their, with their windows taken out, it's a Fibia village um, fighting in built up areas. It used to be a Northern Ireland village, then it was an Afghanistan village, and now it's someplace in Ukraine, no doubt. But yeah, Fibua, everyone's favorite form of pain. <laughs> fighting, um, fighting in built up areas, going door to door, room to room. Awful. When I was in the army all those thousands of years ago, I used to be in Salisbury Plain every week, every other week at some point. Um, I have to say, I don't recognize any of it. I've probably been in that Fibia village. I've probably done some work in there, Northern Ireland training and such like. Um, well, yeah, don't recognize any of it.
Excuse me. <laughs> I'm in Chitton in a church. This is the parish church of Thomas a Becket. I'm sitting in that street. Bus is going past down there. I'm just having a quick coffee. Everyone's very friendly down here and the shortbread, the shortcake. It's amazing. So how are we all? I hope we're all well. I've got to come back and do a... I'm going to leave soon because I've got to get back to London to do a video for you guys. I like video tonight. But you won't see this until tomorrow. Anyway. Yeah. What a great day. The place is mobbed. They're all moaning that they've got to, there's too many people here. Um, the queue where Warminster Station is went all the way down the hill, around the corner, whether it's an oldie or a little, where the little is, and down the road, a couple of hundred metres long. And people are saying that like, they've never seen anything like this, never seen it as, as bad, you know, as, as, uh, as busy. But, you know, lots of different buses, lots of interesting places in the village. I went to a, it stops at a place called New Zealand Farm Camp. And a million years ago, I was in the army, and I spent four, six weeks, something like that, in New Zealand Farm Camp in a in a in the mortar concert. We did a mortar concentration in Salisbury, and uh, yeah, spent a load of time around here. I don't recognise any of it. It's funny. Anyway, I'm going to go and catch a bus. I'm going to go back to Warminster. And I'm going to go get in the cab and drive home. Speak to you soon. So we've had a great day. Um, Imba, I've been to um, Tilt's Head. That's where the church was. I wasn't in the, the place that I did say. I can't remember where it was now. Um, but I was in Tilt's Head. Um, Everyone was very, very nice. Massive, a massive amount of people turned up. But I've just come back. It's just gone two o'clock. I'm sitting in a queue of bloody traffic now. It's nearly three o'clock now. Um, and the queue from Warminster itself was 300 metres long. It was madness at this time of day. Um, I don't know when they stopped running. Um, but the BBC was there today. A lot, a lot of um, there's a lot of um, um, press coverage today. So uh, that might or, or, or leading up to it. I mean, the only reason I knew this was happening as I saw something um, Double Decker Anton put on Facebook. So it's, it's the only reason I, I knew about it. Um, not nerdly like I used to be. Um, but yeah, nice day, some great buses. Um, I've taken a few little videos, lots of little photographs. So if you if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see some of my photographs on Instagram. Um, and if you, yeah, Instagram, I'm not gonna do them anywhere else. I know a lot of you do Flickr and other places. But I don't really understand them. So yeah, I've got, um, I don't know how long I've got another two hours to drive. Should be there by five, should be home by five. Let the cat in, feed the cat, and then do a live video tonight. But this will be tomorrow, because I'm not gonna do the video today. So I'll put the video, this video that I'm doing at tomorrow or Monday. But yeah, it's been a nice day. Long day, it's been, a, you know, it's 100 and, I think it's about 140 miles each way just to get to Warminster. And it's funny, I've been, I, I know Salisbury. I've been there, uh, Salisbury playing. I, I used to go to Salisbury all the time. I didn't recognise any of it. It was really odd. I mean, and we went to, the bus takes you to New Zealand Farm Camp. And um, I've been to New Zealand Farm Camp. And I've, I've stayed in New Zealand Farm Camp. I, I was there for... A couple of weeks at least. Um, 
we did a mortar fire concentration in Salisbury. Lots of different regiments come down and it's, it's like a competition. I was in the mortars. Um, and we did a concentration there and uh, we, the practicing rounds, were, we were there. Um, didn't recognize any of it. I don't know if it, they've knocked it down and changed it or they've, or wh whatever, you know, there, there doesn't seem to be any accommodation there where we, where we were, it was all fibula buildings, you know, fighting in built up areas. I suppose that's prevalent now with, with what's going on, what's, ha what's, what's been going on in the world, you know, it, it, um, Iraq and Afghanistan, and now there's a lot of Ukrainian um, military over at the moment, and they'll be they're, they're using the, the fibula rooms. Um, fuck that fibula. Easiest way to get killed. Absolutely mental. I'd rather be. I'd rather be where I used to. Used to love being in the mortars. Mortar, being a mortar man. Second Battalion Costume Guards, Mortar Platoon, two support companies. That was me. That's where I was. Until it all. Until options for change came in in 1993, I think it was, and all Second Battalions disappeared. Uh, in the guards, any guards regiment that had two battalions, they they chopped them down to one battalion with a training company, which seven company had. Coldstream guards had seven company. We stayed permanently in London. The Grenadiers um, had Nijmegen company and the Scots guards. Ooh, Left flank, I'm going to say, but probably not. I think they had left flank. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But the, this guy said the, the Irish and the Welsh have never had two battalions, and they should have. Um, and there's probably, you know, there's probably calls now to get rid of all of them because, you know, the army is on its bloody knees. You know, I joined the army, it was 120,000 soldiers. And they got rid of all the all, all the ancillaries. What's that? Yeah, Stonehenge. Um, why I know Stonehenge? Because I was driving home one day with my platoon commander. I won't name him because he, he then went on to become the commanding officer of the Coldstream Guards, First Battalion. And uh, we're driving along. This is the 303, so it must be. And he looked up and he said. You would have thought they would have built it further away from the road. Yeah. He's a really nice bloke. But <laughs> it's weird, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. And it's... Oh my God, it's there. It's just there. It's about 100, 200 yards from the road. So they could have built it further away from the road, surely. Yeah. All right, I'm driving now. So the traffic's... That's why the traffic's so bad, because everyone's going past Stonehenge wants to take photographs. Okay, so you know where I am now. I'm going driving past Stonehenge. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'll put a little video together and I'll put it out either tomorrow or, which is Sunday or Monday, maybe Tuesday, depends. And so I'll put some photographs um, out on um, Instagram. I already put a couple of shorts out on, um, or one short out on, um, YouTube. So I'll catch you all later. I'll see you all tonight. Uh, you know, uh, not that you'll not that you'll see this because you won't see this till afterwards. So it's like back to the future. I'll speak to you later. Ooh.